different, different issues, issues that concern. That concern. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities that it seems hard. It seems challenging. It seems challenging. It's challenging. It's I don't say it's hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, um, so, so, so I'm ready. For I'm this ready challenge. for this challenge, and I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think that we all have, we a, all have a purpose in life, and mine's and mine's is going to take on a task that most that most of back away from. Back away from. That impossible. That impossible. So people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see. I don't see anything as being impossible. Mentality, mentality, there are different, there are different mentalities, mentalities, but just like just there's like different, there's different ways to teach people how to read, there's, there's, there's different ways to communicate people. There's different ways, there's different ways to communicate people, people and there's different mentalities. So I do, so see, I do hope. see hope. I see hope, and that's all coming together, together, together and understanding, and understanding together. each other and learning to respect. Learning to respect. Why are we out here today? We're out here to beautify our block, clean up. This is the first clean up of the 2013 season. And um, although we don't have many participants, we're getting it done. Yeah. Right? We're getting it done. It doesn't even matter. I mean, I knocked on folks' doors yesterday and let them know just in case they had their cars out. However, a lot said they didn't feel well or uh, they weren't going to be home. So just do the best we can, that's all. Okay. You know, it takes, uh, it takes a few people to be dedicated just to keep our neighborhood beautified. Mm -hmm. Clean and safe. Okay. <laughs> and you're the block captain? Well, uh, or... I'm the appointed uh, block captain so far. I mean, Miss Dottie used to be the block captain, and she's in her mid-70s now, and she's a little tired. Okay. So she drops the bags and stuff off okay. at my house, and uh, uh, that's why I put the notice in your door, because I know you, if you were around, you wouldn't help out. And this is great. Thank you. And thank you for your efforts. I mean, you started cleaning the aisle here and it's nice. Thank you. And um, today it's the 14th district, uh, more beautiful cleanup? Yes, yes, yes it is. Yeah. And when will the next one be? I'm imagining, but I'm thinking it's going monthly. So around like towards the end of the month, um, right? We don't have four, we have three. The next one is going to be July, and I think the third one is in August. Oh, it's only three? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, the neighbors and I, we always get out every couple of weeks and do something. Have a sidewalk sale or something. But the whole key is uh, you see the trash, just pick it up. And um, we try to get the businesses around here to put trash cans out. I even contact the SEPTA to see if they can put the wire baskets at the bus stops because that's where a lot of the trash is. So, you know, I even found an uh, empty box that someone had apparently bought new sneakers yeah. and left the box there. So I catch the train every day, so I, any trash I see, I just pick it up on my way to the train station and put it in there. Trash. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I mean, we put our gloves on, we can move that trash bin to where it's supposed to be on the side of that building up there, too. Because that, that shouldn't be on the, uh, at the bus stop like that. You are absolutely right. They shouldn't. I mean, it's, 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 it's the contractor who, who leaves it there because that's more convenient for him. You know, instead of him going. You've been in the, uh, been the black captain. Okay. Well, listen, I was a black right. captain. I was a black captain. See, dog. See you later, Kaisha. Oh, no, she's okay. in some cars. Okay. I was a uh, black captain for 30 years, and now in November, day, I was re elected to black captain. <laughs> Somebody got to do it immediately. Yeah, and I'm concerned about my neighborhood. Yeah. I've been around here for 54 years, okay? And it's time for me to sit down. Maybe next year somebody will do it. But I, I, I love where I live. And, and if we don't do it, nobody else will. No. No, we have to protect where we live. And uh, we put the 400 block of Vernon Road, put these flower planters out here, 19. It really does, especially when the flowers come up. Yeah. It looks so pretty. Like when I walk past the bus stop, it's just a, a nice. And everybody, I, I like the idea of people coming in and looking at me. Oh, that's gorgeous. And if 
Oh, no, I can get it. Okay. So are we getting some more flowers in the pot? Oh, yes. We're going to I don't know. It's like you know, multi flowers that they keeps must have blooming all summer. Okay. Like you see over and dryness. I sure will. And they give me a call on Monday to remind me to do it. Okay. 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 Hi, Kiyashi. Awesome. How about any trees? Because I know we had trees last year and they all went brown. We had trees the year we first year and they died. Yeah. So I I don't think in this break in sun that the trees will survive unless we go to one of the nurseries and tell them where we're going to plant the trees and maybe they could recommend a tree a tr that will yeah. continue to grow. In this place. Well, like I said, get some hostas, sun sun hostas that's used to the sun. Survive. All right, have a good one. But we need the support of the community and we need the support of the men in our world. They live here. You know, they always talk about a woman. They stay in the house. But if we can get the support of the men that's in the community, it would really be a great idea. Yeah, have a men's day out. Yes. And in our block, the 400 block, we have organized what we call a men's ministry. And we're trying to uh, get that on the ground. We've gotten some support of some of the men. So I think that but they're going to have a meeting on May the 4th. Okay. Their first meeting.